Lewis Hamilton, how Mercedes star ranks against Schumacher, Vettel and Fangio reveal a fourth-placed finish was enough to mathematically ensure the 2018 crown was his to see off the challenge of Ferrari rival Sebastian Vettel. Hamilton's latest title win, his fourth in the last five seasons, draws him level with the legendary one Manuel Fangio and he is only behind all-time record holder Michael Schumacher with seven triumphs. And bookmakers have crunched the numbers over the 33-year-old success so far, making for impressive reading. Much of the recent debate is over where Hamilton ranks alongside Schumacher, with 1997 world champion Jacques Villeneuve even declaring the bird is miles above. He explained, because he's had his career always clean. He's never resorted to any questionable actions to win and he's always on top of his game. It's been very impressive. And Bwin's calculations show that Hamilton will draw a level with Schumacher with the most wins in F1 history in Abu Dhabi in 2020. That's if he maintains his current winning rate with Mercedes, having risen to 71 wins with two races remaining of the current season in Brazil and Abu Dhabi. Schumacher holds the record on 91 with Hamilton ahead of rival Vettel currently on 52. Hamilton's number of race wins is more than any other driver at his age and he has won an impressive 31% of the 227 races he has entered. Only Fangio, with 41%, and two-time British champion Jim Clark, on 35%, won more races of the races they entered than Hamilton. Schumacher's average is just below Hamilton's, having won 30% with another iconic Brit and Jackie Stewart in fifth with 27%. Buin also determined that only Fangio has finished on the podium more often than Hamilton in the entire history of the sport, with Hamilton finishing in the top three in an incredible 58% of his races. Fangio, meanwhile, was third or higher in 60% of his races with the pair comfortably bettering the records of four-time winner Alain Prost, 53%, and Schumacher, 50%. Hamilton has also finished in the top seven more than any other F1 driver, with 80% of his races, and also in the top 10, with 85% of his races. By contrast, Vettel has finished 10th or higher in 82% of his races while Fangio is down on 74%. Yet Hamilton declared after his latest title win that he still views Schumacher as the out-and-out out best as he looks to close the German down for race wins and podium finishes. He told Sky Sports, Firstly I could never ever personally classify myself as the best. Obviously. Within myself, I know my abilities and where I stand. But ultimately, my dad always told me, since I was 8 years old, he said do your talking on the track. So I just try to let my results and the results from the things that I do outside of my sport, hopefully, also contribute to that, so people can hopefully create a decent opinion. But Michael's still quite far ahead in race wins so you have to say he is still the GOAT. Fangio, I think, is the godfather and always will be, from a driver's perspective. To do what he did at that time when everything was so dangerous. My respect is so high for him. I feel very honored to have my name alongside his, that's for sure and naturally just very proud to have the Hamilton name up there. Related articles Lewis Hamilton, Mercedes chief Toto Wolff insists star is getting better after title win that is the opinion of Mercedes chief Toto Wolff. The Brit wrapped up the fifth driver's title of his career in Mexico at the weekend with a fourth-placed finish, having only needed to come home seventh or higher to beat Sebastian Vettel to this year's championship. Hamilton's win sees him equal Juan Manuel Fangio on five titles, 
with only seven-time winner Michael Schumacher, the most successful F1 driver of all time, ahead of him. The 33-year-old has been in sensational form this season, having won six of the last nine races to steal well ahead of Ferrari's Vettel in the standings and been almost faultless all the way through the year. Hamilton was immediately asked about chasing down Schumacher but dodged such questions, including one asking whether he considered himself the GOAT, greatest of all time, following Jacques Villeneuve's claim that he is miles above Schumacher despite trailing in championships, race wins and podium finishes. And in a message to Vettel and CO as they look ahead to next year's title, Wolf believes Hamilton is at the peak of his powers and yet could even still improve. This is the best Lewis Hamilton I have seen in the last six years. Wolf said having worked with Hamilton since 2013. He has driven better, he has been better out of the car. His biggest strength is, keeping his calm and holding his nerve. We had times when the car was good enough to win and times when the car was not good enough to win. But he was very stable. It's the ability of combining talent with hard work, intellect and emotional intelligence. All great champions have all four of them. If one is missing, you can still be a successful racing driver but you are never going to achieve this greatness. As long as he is in a good car and continues to enjoy it in the way he does today, there is more to come. But the reason he has won the fifth championship is that he concentrates on the job in hand and does not look too far away. Because before you win a seventh there is a sixth to win, and we haven't scored a single point for that one. And Hamilton insists his season is not over yet because he wants to win the final two rounds of 2018 in order to help claim the constructor's crown. I still have work to do, he said. I've still got to get back to the factory and rally the troops next week to figure out how we can come back and win these next races. We still have the Constructors' Championship to win, which I know will mean even more to all the guys back at the factory. So that's the focus.